And welcome back, everyone, to part 11 of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, we took out, uh, was Miss Petunia in the shower, and I, I don't know what the granny's name is, but I hate that ghost, and I was able to suck her up and get rid of her, so she's gone. But, um, pretty much, uh, we made our way after, of course, capturing those two. We made our way down the stairs again back to floor number one to uh, get and finish off sort of the floor by finishing off the rooms down here. And we're going up up against uh, this, um, I guess, uh, what a little pool master or whatever you call them. Pool sh shark? No, it's not pool shark. That's that's card shark. I don't. I actually don't know what a what a, a pool expert is. But anyway, we had already hit him once, uh, but I had to cut the video off uh, due to space and recording and blah 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 blah. And uh, yeah, pretty much what you need to do is you need to hit him with his own pool cues that he actually sends out to hurt you. So I'll just grab that real quick. He always rotates, uh, what is that, clockwise? Yeah, I guess it's clockwise around the table. Um, and you need to hit up oh, now. You need to hit him three times, and then afterwards you just need to hit him once. Oh, I almost got two there. Like I said, always clockwise, and uh, that got away from me. That sucks. Oh, I missed him. Ah, oh, angling is so hard in this game sometimes. All right, there we go. And let's suck him up now, guys. Yeah, suck him up. Let's get him. Let's get him. <laughs> All right, yes. One suck wonder. It is about time out of all this time to actually get a ghost for a change in one try, but we are first going to get ourselves a boo. Oh, a boo-hoo, all right. At least that one's, you know, that one makes sense. <laughs> At least boo-hoo makes sense. But anyway, now let's see. Ah, oh, did you see that boo just give up at the end, Luigi? Your reputation is spreading. Okay, now send me the boo and all the data you've got. All right, so that is our 19th boo. That is fan frickin' tastic. We're just trucking through these boos. But let's open this up to reveal our second optional, actually. Our uh, section optional. Uh, section, yes, our section optional. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what should I call it? Um, ghost that we actually don't need to capture um, to complete the game. But like I said, we're going uh, our hard, trying our hardest to get 100%. Mm -hmm. And of course, now we have this mysterious room called the uh, the projection room. Oh, we might as well turn the projector on, shall we? Ooh, what's that? Oh no! Ah, oh, why did I do it? I just do that. No, come here, come here. This actually, this room can sometimes be difficult um, to actually capture ghosts in. Um, but see, there are the invisible ghosts that we used to have a mirror for. But uh, this time we actually don't have that mirror. We don't have that luxury. So uh, we need to do them one at a time, trying our hardest. <laughs> oh, there's one behind me too. All right, well, come here, come here, come here before the other guy comes back. Where are you? The good thing is, is when they appear, you can usually, uh, you can usually see them appear, um, so it's not that bad, uh, <laughs> but still, it's really, really annoying sometimes. I'm gonna get grabbed by that other ghost. Damn it! <laughs> oh, god, darn. <laughs> Ghosts are giving me a what for, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Alright, and I just hit another ghost that was over there. Well, this is not helpful. Oh no, ah, oh, darn! This is, this is difficult. I can't get these ghosts properly. I feel like a noob! I feel like a Luigi's Bench noob! Alright, um, we'll be able to get this guy before this guy grabs us. 
Oh, we really get him before he grabs us too. Yeah, that's right. Come here, buddy. All right. And that, of course, unlocks the projector room. Fan freaking tastic. Oh, you weren't in there, were you? Oh, you're in the speaker. Ha ha. Or not? I guess you weren't in the speaker. Where are you? You're in the projector. You're in the projector, aren't you? No, you're not. Or maybe you are. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. It says he's in the projector. Oh, he could be in the table. I see. Yeah. Shambu! Oh, someone actually wrote that in the comments. I saw that. Ah, tsk, tsk, tsk. You can't make up proper boo names because this one's in the game. Ah, it's like you were born to capture booze, Luigi. Okay, now send me the boo and all the data you've got. All right, that is number 20. Oh, jeez. God, we are making such good progress here. I'm, I'm really happy with this booze. I thought this was going to be a nightmare. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, now that I said that, that's me knocking on the wood. But anyway, uh, we got Mario's glove and an ew, it's still a little sweaty. Uh, but uh, yes, this is something that you actually do need to collect to progress. So you need to actually get all of um, all of this stuff. Actually, I can show it right here. So we've got Mario's hat, which we got from the washing machine like a couple of parts ago. We got the letter that we got from the birdhouse about two or three parts ago, and now we just got the glove. So now I think all we need is the shoe and the shooting star. All right, but there's actually nothing that we can actually do here on this floor. Uh, no, I think it's actually a good time to actually go back. And this is something I haven't shown off before. Uh, if you, um, used your uh, Game Boy, uh, Game Boy, if you use your Game Boy Horror on, uh, on mirrors, uh, like this one, uh, it actually allows you to teleport back to the beginning. And it's actually good for, you know, speeding through stuff and not always having to go back and, uh, I guess collect things that are really annoying to collect sometimes. <laughs> But uh, let's see here. We actually have the key to this door now. So we're going to enter here. And this will actually finish off this floor for good once we get these guys. But this is the twins room. And if we look around the room, it doesn't seem like there's anybody here. But you can hear faint laughter. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can climb up there and spin this. But I really find it very ineffective. You just do it this way. And you spin this top chandelier, and eventually, the twins will come out. And aren't they cute in their sort of evil-ish kind of look? Hey, mister, what are you doing over there all by yourself? Hey, why don't you play hide-and-seek with us? <laughs> uh, okay, let's -a play. Yay! Okay, here's the... We're gonna hide, wait outside. Alrighty. So they want me to leave. Hmm. And in the famous uh, words of uh, Nintendo Capri Sen, okay, we're back. All right. So this actually can be very hard if you actually don't know what to do. What you're actually trying to find is you're trying to find out where they are hiding. And the best way to check is you know they're hiding in the box is if you suck it with your vacuum cleaner, it rocks back and forth. And he says, hey, not bad, mister. Oh, it looks like this one. And if you choose the wrong one, then you lose the game, and then they they can really wreck your wreck your stuff. But of course, because I got them, they call me a cheater. Um, and no, I don't want to suck that photo. I want to get this kid first. He's probably the most annoying of both him and his brother. His brother drops bombs, but it's really easy to dodge if you if you're kind of going for the brother. And oh, I got hit by that guy's that kid's plane. That sucked. Just after saying that, oh, it's easier. It's easier for his brother. Ah. Uh, all right, come here, come here. I need to get you so I can take care of your little brother. All right. Now his brother speeds up a little bit. You really don't notice it, um, and it really doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> but his brother is the one that actually drops the pearls, so you want to try and get him up in one suck. That's for sure. And he is not being nice to me, and he has dropped all types of evil. Come on, I almost got you. I almost got you. I got you. Alrighty. I don't know if he dropped the big pearl or not. No, I don't think he did because I lost his brother. Oh, no, there it is. Ha-ha! I still win! 
And of course, we have found the Mario Shoe. The Mario Shoe we have found. Um, and of course, there is a Boo in here, as always. He is in the chair, I guess? No, stop rocking the table. No, he's not in the chair. He's not over here. No. Oh, here he is. Alright, he is Boris. Oh my god, Boris, really? He always gets out of his room, and it really sucks. Alright, come here, Boris. Where are you going, Boris? Am I actually going to get you in the hallway? No, I'm not. And what? Oh, why did I just do that? <laughs> he went inside, uh, he went inside this room. I totally forgot about the hidden doors. <laughs> I, uh, 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 I suck. Are you in here? Please don't. Oh, no, you're in the other room, aren't you? <sighs> Apparently, he's, Boris is hiding again. Where are you, Boris? Oh, yeah. There you Boris. Boris. Are you hiding in the plant, Boris? No. There you are. Mario. Hiding it. Oh, Aw, did I just scare him away? Mario. Can I can I rock it, please? No. Not that. Mario. This. Okay, he's gone now. No, he's gone now because because I, I fail. Oh yeah. Might as well use my vacuum cleaner. Oh now he's in the bed. There you are. Come here, Boris. There we go. And that solves that problem. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible, terrible thing to do. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I've caught the booze. I'm doing great. Da 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 da. We're gonna save here. This is actually a good time to save. That is perfect. This part is is actually coming to a close. But uh, actually in this part, we actually got quite a lot done. That's pretty good. I actually got two ghosts sucked up in one go. How about that? But anyway, I will see you guys in part 12 of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion and mm -hmm. stay frosty till then.